So we're here with some academic advisors who know a lot about a lot of things. Let's see if they know anything about the internet. Jessica? Oh, hey, Greg. Uh, we're, we have some questions about the internet for you. Okay. Do you have, do you have a minute? Yep. Do you, who do you think controls the internet? Well, I think it depends on the little thing at the end. The .edu might be controlled by the institution, sometimes the government. Is that the right answer? <laughs> okay. Sometimes the commercial places, if it's, you know, .com. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, who do you think invented the internet? I know Al Gore thinks he invented the internet, but I don't know who really did. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> hey, Tim. Hey, Greg. We have some internet questions for you. Oh, yeah. I know the answer. Who do you think controls the internet? We do. All of us. With okay. all of our content and information, right? Sure. There's no wrong answers. Um, who do you think invented the internet? I don't remember the person's name. It wasn't me. Okay. Fair. <laughs> I'm here with Diane, our CSE departmental secretary, and we're going to ask her some questions too. Hi, Diane. Who do you think owns the internet? We do. The public? I don't know. Okay. Uh, who do you think invented the internet? Researchers at universities. Okay. Who do you think controls the internet? I really don't know. Okay, thank you. Do you know? No. <laughs> Do you, Jeff? Hi, Jen. Hello. Here's Jen. Uh, we're going to ask you some questions about sure. the internet, if you're okay with that. I am. Uh, who do you think controls the internet? The government. <laughs> who do you think owns the internet? I really have no idea. Okay. Who do you think invented the internet? That I don't know either. I thought it might be somebody with the last name of Tesla, but I'm not sure. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with Al Gore to have him answer some questions about the internet. Former Res Vice President Al Gore, is it true that you invented the internet? Could you speak up a little? No, no answer, no comment? Well, no, it's not true that Al Gore invented the internet, but he was very important in passing legislation as a senator. He passed legislation that provided funding to one of the early versions of the internet okay. and legislation that funded one of the early web browsers. Yeah, um... Now we're going to ask a grad student. I'm here with Carl. Carl, who do you think owns the internet? I'd say it's a combination of a bunch of entities. I mean, the internet, uh, internet is it's a, well, intellectual property, um, but it's a consortium of probably, well, who knows? Let's back off a little bit. Um, no one directly controls it, okay? But if you're talking about the internet as a co collection of physical servers, certainly the physical servers are owned by individuals and corporations. So as you can see, there's a lot of misconception and confusion as to who owns, controls, and invented the internet. So we're going to take some time to clear that up right now. Who owns the internet has a number of answers. The physical lines that circle the globe are owned by network operators, which can be companies or government agencies. The protocols that make the internet work are in the public domain and are open source and free to for anyone. And the content is available is excuse me, owned by the creators, by you and I, the people that make the content. That's intellectual property. Who invented the internet also has no single answer. There were several companies, universities, and government agencies all simultaneously involved in the development of the internet. And who controls the internet? Again, there is no single answer. The internet was designed to need as little control as possible. But there are some organizations, non-for-profit and government agencies, who do control some, th some aspects. IETF is responsible for the protocols and maintaining those. And ICANN is responsible for the names and numbers of the internet. So what that means is if you were going to go to buffalo.edu in three different places, it all has to go to the same web page. So there's some control there. 
also control in terms of censorship is sometimes uh, attempted. Certain countries will try to limit information to varying degrees of success. And part of why some of those are slightly unsuccessful is due to the internet's design for openness. It is just designed to be collaborative, just as, as, as it was invented by lots of people. So as you can see, there's not really any answer to all of these questions.